Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. How you doing today? We are on Interstate 10. We're about 15, 16 miles uh, west of Quartzsite. We're going up here to the town of Ehrenberg. We'll be exiting on number one, exit one off Interstate 10. And there is more free camping up here, right on the river too. I've never camped up here personally, but I have been down here uh, photographing for years. Great place to get uh, sunset pictures. The same as like up at Tom Wells area. Okay, this is exit one. This is the last exit in Arizona. What I'll do real quick, I'm gonna make a right. We'll go down into Ehrenberg itself. Then I'll drive up past the RV parks. There's like three or four big RV parks right on the river. They're pretty nice, really. And this is their little mini mart store. There ain't much here for stores. Uh, you go farther up, make a right, and you go farther down. That, actually, that'll take you up towards uh, Parker as well. I think it's Arizona 1, Highway 1. One or two, one of them. I forget. Anyway, let's flip a Yui. I'll make a right here and we're going to go right up past the RV parks. Then I'll fly the drone too. Okay, here they are on the right hand side. They do all have river access. Look at the green grass. <laughs> You don't see that much, unless you're along the river. Okay, I'm gonna make a left up here in the frontage road and uh, find a place to fly the drone. Uh, it looks like a little construction area. Get past these power poles and I'll get the drone up in the air. I'll be back. Up we go. All right. Should be able to get a good view here. That's overlooking. Uh, the RV part, there's the river. That's the Colorado River. Just on the other side is California. That's that road we just drove up. There's the RV parks, resorts, whatever they call them. They're pretty nice. I've never heard bad about them. I have no clue what they charge. And this is a brand new gas station. Check it out. We just drove past that. That is brand spanking new. There's the interchange. That was the exit one. Then over here, this is the Flying J. Flying J truck stop. It's been there a real long time. Look at all the trucks. And that's a side that has the free camping. That's where we're going to go to. See that? There's that tire shop right there. Right next to it, there's a dirt road. And we'll be traveling down that road and heading uh, south. Go back into the, down by the river, along the levee road. So that gives you a little bit of a look from uh, the north side of the freeway. Nothing like a drone view. Just gives it a whole new perspective how you see the area. Okay, we're I'm going to get back in the van. We're going to head across the interstate. Go check out some free camping. Look at all the clouds. There's a storm front coming in. It's supposed to rain tonight. Today is Thursday. 
But check out this brand new gas station. They just must have opened that here this year. That's brand spanking new. As soon as you go across the bridge into California, gasoline and diesel, it's about 60, 70 cents a gallon higher. So it definitely pays to stop here. Alrighty, back to travel. This is exit 1, going to go across Interstate 10. To the left is east, to the right would be west. I got a little roundabout here. We're going to go down and go past the Flying J. Best Western here. You know, all these uh, motels and hotels in Blythe, they get booked up in January, too. A lot of people just motel it, come to the show for a weekend and leave. And if you're interested in doing that, then uh, better get your reservation in. Okay, on the left Flying J. They got all kinds of, like, Wendy's and food and everything. We're going to go down near this tire shop, and we're going to make a left on uh, a dirt road. And that'll take us back into the levee part. I'd say about where that truck was coming out is where we're going to be turning in. Okay, and right there on the right hand side is a little brown marker sign. And it shows BLM land. This is a hugely popular. A lot of the guys from the van built come down here. A lot of RVers. I mean, you can go way down, miles down this uh, area. I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to kind of stick to this end. We'll fly the drone a couple times, check it out, go over by the river. We're crossing over this gas pipeline. I mean, it goes forever. It goes all the way across California, the desert. And this goes up through Quartzsite. That's at, uh, and there's a dirt road that follows the thing the whole way. Dirt roads, four-wheel trails. Now there is some private property out here, so I think it's marked. Road's not too bad, just go slow. I'm gonna make a right here. If you go straight, you can keep on going down farther to the river. There is access down there, but we're gonna make a right. I'm gonna cut over to the river up here. And whoa, look at those cotton fields. Wow. <laughs> those are huge. They grow everywhere down here. They got the water. Why not? All the way up to Poston and Parker, too, there's ag. I'll make a drive up there one day. Okay, here's the levee. Something to the left said, no trespassing, private property. But here's where they start camping. To the right, you can go up a little ways, and to the left, you can go down miles, I think. I don't know how many miles. If you Google map it, you'll get a better perspective. And here's some RVers. Bunch of happy campers right there in the water. Camping for free. Well, I'm going to drive down maybe a quarter mile or so and then we'll launch a drone. See, I don't know if the camera picks it up along the left. There's a motorhome down here and trailers off to the left. You just park down in the, I guess they're dunes. You, know, you call them dunes here. And right on the right hand side, that's Colorado River. You are right at the edge of the state line here. The middle of the river is the state line.
Well, this is probably almost far enough. I'm gonna f turn around, go up, and uh, we'll launch a drone. Wildlife everywhere in here. You're gonna have it all. And across the river, those are RV parks. I think some are county, and then some are private. We'll see him when, uh, from the drone shot. Alright, get up here and get parked. Water's nice and calm. There are boat launches somewhere in this area, too. I'm not sure where. But you can definitely do some boating. Jet skis, all of it. Okay, up we go. That's the Colorado River. We are right at the edge of Arizona. Across the river is California on the right hand side. And looking down, check out the cotton fields. You can see the ag field out there. When we leave, I'll fly that. We'll get a quick look at that thing too. A little inland canal there. Definitely fish. And there's the RVers. This is like the beginning. Up there a little farther, you can see Interstate 10, the bridge, and the Colorado River. And there's California. See, they got a frontage road over there. Looks paved. Look at all the agriculture. That goes back in there a lot of miles. That's actually Blythe. That's the start of Blythe. And over here to the left will be the RV parks. There's several that go down quite a ways. Once again, I'll put a link for Google Maps of this. So you check it out on Google Maps. Alrighty, get landed here. Well, there's a bird's eye view of the Colorado River, state line, Arizona, and California. All in one shot. <laughs> and it's all free. Free camping. And you got pretty good cell signal here. I got three bars on my phone. I have Verizon. This whole area with Blythe and all that. Everyone's got their solar hooked up big motor home there so it's pretty easy access I mean just gotta go slow the road is rough but it's dirt road they're all dirt roads here so, just for kicks and grins I'm gonna pull off up here and uh, launch a drone get a little shot of this cotton field and then a look back at the river to where them guys are camping so I shall return. The amount of agriculture that follows along this Colorado River Basin is massive. I mean it goes up, it's about 40 some miles up to Parker along the river and it's everywhere. But look at all the cotton. Green grass out there. Wonder what they're growing there. And there's another look. You can see part of their irrigation system. They're pumping water straight out of the river. 
there's the camp area right along the river look back up towards uh, the bridges and last look at the river looking good get on down here get some free camping right along the water Okay, well this kind of gives you a decent look at uh, Ehrenberg, the free camping. You hear a lot of about it, and you don't see much of it. So you did now. Now you can see it. I've known a uh, few people that have stayed down here, never heard bad about it. You got but you do get traffic noise. Anytime you're close to that interstate, you will get noise. And once again, if you go to the right here, you can continue way down along the river. I'm not going to today, but you can go a long ways down. I don't know how many miles. Once again, I'll put a link in Google Maps for you. And you're only, this is exit one, Quartzsite first exit 17, so you're 16 miles to the west of Quartzsite. So you're only like 15, 20 minutes away from the big queue and the shows and whatnot. So if you camped here, you're not very far away and you kind of beat the crowds. But who knows, this might get crowded too in January. I have no clue. Okay, I'm going to make a right. This is the frontage road. Going to head back up. Get back on the freeway. I think what I'll do too is I'm going to stop up here. Just on the other side of the interchange and launch a drone. We'll get a shot of the roundabout and the exit here. Stay tuned, drone footage is coming. This is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. Talk soon.